I'm all about building God's kingdom. It's not about my legacy no more. It's like doing right because I'm not in it for the money. But you know nobody can change, man. Nobody can change yeah. who you are. Nobody can change what you've done. Well, I just want you to know that. Yeah, that Regardless yeah. of what you hear in the news from anybody, oh, yeah, no, no, you're I'm still not, Master P. Well, to, be, to be honest with you, man, they did Jesus like that. He was God's son. Nobody believed him, right? Mm -hmm. they, they, they tore him down. They put him on the cross. I'm just saying for us, all the good people, I'm celebrating the people that's out there fighting for us. Like, especially going to do something for the black community mm -hmm. and the culture and give back and make a difference. I'm fighting for them people. And the and thing you've always said is you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? So, 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 so even if you've made mistakes, so what? If I'm wrong, I'm going to accept yeah. that and try to figure out how to do the right thing. Absolutely. And that's that's why God keep blessing me. That's what I'm saying. I'm not perfect, but God, God keep blessing me for a reason. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? And I think when you do right, you got a you got a good heart. You don't have to worry about the Absolutely. other stuff. Mm -hmm. It's going it's going to get I'm just saying for our culture. That's the only reason why we doing this interview because I'm in a whole other lane, but I want to I want to leave on this note. Farewell to 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 this mess because the music industry now nah, man is gossip, it's nasty, it's dirty. This this ain't what I want to be. And I'm an older person that's that's doing something that can help change lives, give people opportunities. Mm -hmm. And that's what this about. We we gotta we gotta fight this hate with love. So how would you tell people like Trell, even Jess, how how should they handle these situations if they I, feel I, like they owe something? Reach out and communicate with the people. Right, right, right. That's it. But I'm just saying though, like don't just jump off when I like if I was in the music Even thing, Romeo. Even Romeo, yeah. even my own son. Yeah. And so I mean, this is a big part of all this, but it's mm -hmm. like, okay, that's fine. But that I'm keep telling y'all, that's what the devil do. The devil want to destroy the people that's going to get, like, I, like, my whole life, if you go look at it, has been about helping. I ain't say I've been perfect. No, my life ain't been perfect. I had to move on and change and grow. I'm trying to show people we can grow, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm well, changing. What do we order all, what do we get the Snoop stuff? You he go, said the clothes stores? and, yeah, in stores. Okay. Well, I wanna, everywhere. I have one other question. Rap, yeah. the rap snacks. Yeah. First time we see rap snacks, of course, you were the one that introduced us to rap snacks yeah. and all the different artists getting their chips. What's your relationship with them? Do you, you own a part of it, or... So I own, so let me tell you something. James uh, started Rap Snacks. Mm -hmm. I was the guy that marketed and promoted with him. It started out, so y'all got to realize this started out at Universal as a marketing chip for artists, right? I created Rap Noodles. So I, I'm, I'm the founder of Rap Noodles, mm -hmm. and James created Rap Snacks. Okay. And that's my partner. Okay. Now, last thing, P, tell yeah. us all the things you own that we could get, because, P, you always got something new. We ain't bring no sneakers today, P. Oh, you know what? I got so many sneakers. Go to Miyadi.com. You got them on right now? I got, man, you know, come on. I'm, I'm going to stay shining. I'm going to stay fly. <laughs> you already know that. I ain't wearing nothing else. But you know what? Even in the snoop, sneaker business, right? Bro, I done spent so much money trying. I even, I, We got to be like the Chinese, right? The Chinese will, uh, uh, will give you an order, make you pay for it up front, and then send you the wrong size. You can't do nothing about it. <laughs> you can't do nothing about it, dog. Like You just like, okay, whatever. I had to change the sizes on them, but but what I I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing next. Oh, you got um, the sports uh, talk radio show yes, in Kentucky. Yeah, yeah that, it's called the Truth, mm -hmm. and so it's really just about being able to give that entertainment. I'm growing. I don't want to go to ESPN and then I want I want to do this, learn it, and get better because I, I I want I want to be in the sports because people don't realize sports it will save my life. Absolutely. So basketball really took me to a whole nother level. So being able to do this in Louisville, the, the Truth. Uh, uh, sports show. I mean, oh, I gotta show y'all this. I got more product. Pete got more stuff. No, no, but this is good. Let me tell y'all something. This is good. And for everybody listening, Pete just pulled up on us this morning. We yeah, I, 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 I walked in the lobby. Walked in the lobby. Pete said, Pete said yeah. I got things to talk about. Okay, shea butter. Man, let me tell you something. Put this on for your pain. You see what that's called? Oh, CBD oil. P Pro Max. P Pro Max. You rub that on. You got any aches and pain? <laughs> I'm taking it away. For real. <laughs> I'm taking it away. I got product. Product the out product. of town. And that's what it is because think about it, right? When you look at these Fortune 500 companies, right, we make up a, a tenth of 1%. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about CEOs of these Fortune 500 companies. And we spend trillions of dollars as African Americans. Mm -hmm. Why we don't own nothing or control anything? Uh, also, when you go to Shopify, you go to Shopify, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not, I, got, I got a new company. It's called Lunch Corp. Mm -hmm. And so now, that's what I'm saying, Shopify is a $63, million, $63 billion company. Mm -hmm. We got to start thinking, building things to compete 
and, 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 and be able to grow things and give our people opportunity. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm like constantly thinking, and, and it, cause we can't take none of this with us. Mm -hmm. right. We can't take, when you die, they ain't gonna, and, and, you know, this is a sad thing about it too, y'all. When we do die, they gonna talk about how great we were. Of but while we're here, think about it. No, if Biggie and Tupac was here, man, they'll be going through so much right now. Yeah. But, but like even Nipsey, all the stuff Nipsey did, all of a sudden he went platinum when he died. Yeah. We gotta stop, Wait, I'll be honest with you, for me, I ain't gonna let them look at my face. They might as well cremate me. I don't want no fakers looking in my face talking about they miss me and all that. Like, I don't want it. To be honest with you, even everybody that died that's in the entertainment business this world right now, look at it. We didn't appreciate the people while they was here. That's right. You know, and we got to start appreciating each other while we're here. And I, and I think that's basically what it is. The journey is going to I love the journey. I love the process. I love creating things. And I love my people. And so if I can educate my people, I, I'm tired of this. We just gonna entertain our people. Let's educate our people because the Bible say pray for wisdom. Mm -hmm. Master P, uh, ladies and gentlemen, P, we appreciate you for pulling up. Yes, sir. And uh, rumors up next. Don't go anywhere. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. We got like two minutes before we go in. Oh, all right, we're, we're, we're. Take a flip right there. Uh, <laughs>